so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be solving problem from code chef starter 67 but this will not be a normal video because i will not go in depth but i will try to briefly explain the first three problems of the contest and maybe i will make in depth videos for rest of the problems so let's start with the first problem that is counting problem so in the first problem you have been given an array a and you have to break it into two parts s1 and s2 such that sum of s1 into sum of s2 is odd right and as sum of s1 into sum of s2 is odd that means your sum of s1 is odd and your sum of s2 is also odd and as a is broken into two parts s1 and s2 you can say that your sum of a is equal to sum of s1 plus sum of s2 and as both of these are odd you can say that your sum of a is even so you have to check you have to check if sum of a is even right and if we can break it into two parts s1 and s2 such that they are odd your a also have an odd element your a must have an odd element because if your a has an odd element we can assign that odd element to s1 and we can assign rest of the elements to s2 right so check two conditions if sum of a is even and the second condition is a must contain an odd element so these are the two conditions that we need to check so that is the first problem let's now move on to the second one that is expensive steps so in this problem we have been given n cross n grid and we have two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 if we move inside the grid it will cost us one dollar but if we move outside the grid it will cost us zero dollars and we have to find the minimum cost that is required to move from x1 y1 to x2 y2 so to solve this we can break the problem into two cases the first case is when we move inside the grid right so if we move inside the grid we can just go from x1 y1 to x2 y2 directly so in that case answer is just absolute of x1 minus x2 plus absolute of y1 minus y2 that is the answer when we move inside the grid this is case one and in case two when we move outside the grid first from x1 y1 we will go to the closest wall right find the nearest wall to x1 y1 then go outside then do the same thing for x2 y2 find the nearest wall right then go to that wall and then from that wall go to x2 y2 right so the answer is find closest wall to x1 y1 right let's say it is this one and let's say cost of going to this wall is a let's say cost of going to this wall is a similarly find closest wall to x2 y2 right let's say in this case it is here and let's say cost here is b let's say cost of that wall is equal to b then your answer is just sum of a plus b right because the only cost is going from point to the wall going outside or moving outside will cost you zero dollars so you just need to move from x1 y1 y1 to the wall similarly when you reach the outside wall we just need to move from that wall to x2 y2 and the cost of that is a plus b so that are the two cases in first case we move inside the grid and in second case we go to the nearest walls and then move rest of the way outside so that is the second problem now let's move on to the third one and the third problem is maximum angriness so in this problem we have been given a sorted array of size n but here size n is very large size n here is 10 to the power 9 and also we have been given k swaps you have to find the maximum inversions that we can make using k swaps right so that is the problem given a sorted array 
of size and find the maximum inversion that we can make using k swaps so we can also break this problem into two cases so the first case is when your k is greater than or equal to n by 2 in this case you can reverse sort the array completely in this case you can reverse sort the array for example if we have 1 2 3 so on up to n by 2 n by 2 plus 1 so on up to n in first swap we can just swap 1 and n in second swap you can swap 2 and n minus 1 similarly in n by 2 swaps you can reverse sort the entire array we will get n n minus 1 n minus 2 so on up to 1 in just n by 2 swaps and as we know reverse sorted array has nc2 swaps or you can say nc2 inversion sorry your reverse sorted array has nc2 inversions or you can say n into n minus 1 by 2 inversions that is the maximum inversions that we can have in any case right so if your k is more than or greater than n by 2 you can say that you will achieve the reverse sorted array and it will have n into n minus 1 by 2 inversions but if your k is if your k is less than n by 2 then we can try to do some manual swaps and try to see the pattern so let's try to do that so we have 1 2 3 so on up to n so if you do the first swap of 1 and n you will get n 2 3 so on up to 1 this n will create n minus 1 inversions like this and this 1 will create n minus 2 inversions here so in total after the first swap you will get 2n minus 3 inversions right but let's do the second inversion now so let's now swap 2 and n minus 2 this is the second swap so we have n we have n minus 1 we have 3 we have 4 and in the end we have 2 and 1 right so this n minus 1 did n minus 3 inversions right because n minus 1 and 1 were already here so if you see here my n minus 1 was here right so my n minus 1 and 1 were already an inversion so that's why i'm not counting n minus 1 and 1 here so this n minus 1 will give me n minus 3 inversions similarly this 2 will give me n minus 4 inversions so in total i get 2n minus 3 inversions you can keep doing the same thing sorry in total i get 2n minus 7 inversions I get 2n minus 7 inversions you can keep doing the same thing again and again and in third swap you will get 2n minus 11 inversions and so on right so if you like note them down you get 2n minus 3 2n minus 7 2n minus 11 and so on so this is just an arithmetic progression right this is just a ap and difference of this is just minus 4 and you just need to find the sum of first k terms so that is the entire problem and i hope you guys understood if you guys have some doubts feel free to ask in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer them and i will see you guys uh, with more videos on the contest where i will try to explain them in depth so, so maybe i will make videos for musical rods and the next problem and i will try to make in-depth videos for them right so i will see you guys in the next one bye bye but before we move on to the solution i want to tell you guys about newton school's coding contest so newton school organizes coding contest every month you guys can solve some quality problems and also compete against top coders in the world this will be a good opportunity to benchmark yourself where you guys are lying in respect to other students in india or around the world and not only that along with this you can also win some cash prizes you can win rewards up to rupees 90000 you can also win scholarships up to rupees 20000 and along with this there will also be some job opportunities so this month the contest will be on 30th of november it will be around two and a half hours from 9 pm to 11 30 pm so do not forget to sign up uh, the link will be in the description so do go and sign up from there